Um, what I like doing is creating an image that pleases me first of all, but then I get the real enjoyment when somebody comes into the gallery and goes, wow, you know, that really, that really looks good. Or, or, and when young people come in and say something like, wow, that's cool. And that, that, that's, that's a great feeling when you've gone out and shot something or created something on the computer using photography. And people say, yeah, it looks great, it looks cool, you know. I started photography solely, not because I was interested in photography or anything, but some, uh, it was to make money, to make an extra income. Uh, I worked at Imperial College and met a guy there who was a departmental photographer. He, at the weekends, photographed weddings and was making more at the weekends than he was during the week. And I thought, this looks like a great idea. So I went out, spent £40 on a camera, called myself a wedding photographer and just started doing weddings. But then later on, got more and more into the photography side of it, started doing what they call stock photography, where I'd go out and shoot stuff that would be going to an agency who then sold it to magazines and what have you. So I started off having stuff published early on in the very early 70s through stock agencies. And then it grew from there. Where's my favourite place? Um, it can be both ends of the spectrum. It can be the heat of a city like New York, which I love, London, or Venice, those sort of, which is a photographer's dream. And it can also be, the when I say the wilderness, woodland, walking around, photographing waterfalls, woodland, nature, uh, where, you're, where it's completely, yeah, I wouldn't say isolated, but you're, you're on your own and the elements are all around you, yeah. Why is it? What? What? Um, I, I don't know. I, it's just. I suppose we New York. It's the vibrancy. Venice. It's the atmosphere. Um, and and with the nature thing, it's it's just being out there in nature and uh, in the wilderness and and you know getting that that sort of buzz from that. And generally speaking, what photography is all about is light, and the light is best in the mornings and in the afternoons, early evenings and being out at those times when, if you're going to Venice, for instance, there's very few people around at that time, so it's a great atmosphere. You're getting the atmosphere at five o'clock in the morning, shooting somewhere like Venice before the hordes come in. Uh, I took in southern Mexico. Uh, it's got a number of elements to it. Uh, there's movement, there's color, uh, there's a baby in the back here, there's texture, people are positioned just right. It was taken by accident in a way because I got a commission to photograph the restaurant and uh, I'm sit standing opposite the, the restaurant with a camera on a tripod photographing the restaurant and these people just walked through and I took the picture, taking several pictures and this one just worked. Very, a, bit, a bit of luck but it worked perfectly and I, as I say I think it's got all the elements of a great colour photograph. I started taking pictures uh, in about 69. Uh, I, my, the, the, where I worked at Imperial University, I then be, I became a departmental photographer there in seven, about 1970. In 72, I left to go freelance and work as a photographer, as a freelance photographer. Initially shooting weddings and stock photography. Gradually, I, I got into shooting travel and ended up being a main, uh, a major photographer in, in that field, working for, I was Thompson's main photographer, shooting for their travel brochures, AA shooting for their guidebooks, and a number of other companies. Uh, in, in the end, I was commissioned to work in about 55 countries around the world. You know, I've never won any awards. The reason being is I've never entered any competitions. And the reason for that is that I don't think, I think competitions are a con, I think um, a lot of uh, pe people hold competitions to raise money because you have to pay a fee. I'm in a competition every day with, with my work, competing with everybody else's work around. If somebody wants to buy a picture, I'm competing with other galleries, other photographers, and that's the competition. And I win the competition when somebody comes in and spends a thousand pound on one of my pictures or 25 pound for a small picture. I consider that winning a competition. Once I got into it, yeah, as I say, initially I got into photography simply to make money. Uh, but once I started and started shooting stock photography and seeing my work being published 
in books, magazines, travel brochures, then it grew and, and now it's a passion. Photography, I, I'm not, not interested at all. And I, I'm, I wouldn't say obsessed, I'm a workaholic. I, I, I work seven days a week, um, pretty much, and uh, I, I just love, love being doing this sort of work. I don't take that, I'm not out shooting photography, but not that often at all. I, I, in fact, I might not take a, a, a picture for, for weeks on end, and then, but then I'll go to New York and spend a week further off in New York or a few days in London or whatever and get a whole body of work. But um, generally speaking, I only shoot every now and then. The first camera was a little plastic thing like that, you know, uh, an Ilford Sportmatic or something like that that took black and white film. Uh, but the first proper camera was a Yashica D when I started doing the weddings and bits and pieces. It cost me £40 and a uh, lovely little camera. It can be a great difference if you're shooting with an iPhone or Polaroid film or whether you're shooting something like this where, where you're using a £20,000 digital Hasselblad. The difference is the quality. The picture can be great on any, media, on any camera. You can, get a, you can capture a moment you can, you know, there's, there, there's nothing, but if, if you're selling work and you want to get something like colour, texture and all the other elements, apart from just the picture structure, then you do need the best equipment you can afford to buy. And being professional, being in a very competitive business, you have to have the best equipment you can buy. And the reliability. You know, I, I recently shot a ride from a helicopter and if I'd have gone up there and the camera had failed on me, you could have shot that on an iPhone and it would still been great. But to lift it from just being great to brilliant, which is all to do with the quality, the texture and things like that. I'm now using my imagery in producing uh, ranges of products where, where my picture's being used on uh, iPhone covers, I, iPad covers, uh, carrier bags, garment covers, all sorts of things, cushions and what have you. And that's where I see my future and developing further along that line. Well, I think they, they give people inspiration to go out there and do, do things themselves. They, it opens their eyes to the rest of the world. Uh, photojournalism, for instance. I mean, people would not have known about the horrors of war, but because of photography, uh, it brought that to them. And then, I mean, the classic is Guernica, the Picasso picture. But art also brings in nature and all these other different aspects and things that we are around us. It, 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 the creative people just opens up other people's minds to, to what's around them. Yeah. Uh, I just think that, um, yeah, good question. I, 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 people have just become, become aware of, of what, like, like the last question, they, people are just seeing things differently and be, being made aware of, of what's around them and nature and industry and all the other things that, that, um, that are everyday life, yeah.